on live. <laughs> oh, I don't want to chug it. Yep, Morgan, here's here's the deal. If you want the rest of this... No, that's not fair. Hold on. What are we drinking here? Gosh. We're drinking rosé. Josh, we're drinking with you, buddy. Here's the deal. Morgan doesn't want me to drink the rest of our rosé here. But the deal is, if she doesn't want me to drink the rest of this, she has to drink the rest from the bottle. How long do I think? Can I leisurely... What do we think, people? Can I leisurely sip it? Hold on, guys. If I get, if I get three people in a row <laughs> to say, Morgan, you have to drink this unbroken. Come on. <laughs> I'm just seeing smiley faces. <laughs> Blab blob. Okay, that, that's a thumbs up. I, that counts. No, Laurel Lesh. Guys, come on. We're talking about the wrong thing here. Do it. All right, we got one. Do it. Two. <laughs> that has to be in a row. Goat. Three. That means you're a goat. No, it doesn't. Uh, Morgan, you have to drink this. It's literally not a lot. Drink it. I don't want to. Unbroken. Want to, I don't want to change. Morgan, drink it. All right, that's definitely three in a row. Come on. No, you got to do it. Come on. Come on, get in here. I would like to leisurely sip my wine. No, you're going to drink that. You got to finish it. Unbroken. <laughs> Come on, waterfall. You have to drink this now, Morgan. Go. Go. Oh, my God. You made it out like that was hard to do. Well, I wanted to enjoy it. Morgan, listen, Morgan just was like, oh, let me just channel my Theta Epsilon Delta <laughs> days back at Texas. <laughs> you just... Yeah. It's a Zeta Tau Alpha. Only the best get crowned. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God. Get out of here. Jeez, man. I thought that was going to be like a task. She took that down like a champ. I'm a little bit worried. Should I be worried? Megan Toth is in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Megan Dot Toth. The best damn social media girl. First look has ever seen. Texas forever. I guess. I don't know. We're not in Texas, people. Texas Some high-class wine, says Maddie24. Uh, yeah, you know it. Tell us about Melissa. I'll tell you about Melissa. Melissa just dangled off of the side of a semi-truck. Okay? Speeding down a runway at, as Nani likes to say, 80 miles an hour, even though we're probably going closer to 30. Nonetheless. Pregnant. Okay? Got, don't know. We don't know how uh, long pregnant, but pregnant, dangling, banging into the side of a semi truck, suspended from a cable. How many other pregnant women have ever done that before? I'll tell you right now, zero. So, I want to just give a shout out to Melissa, yo, and we almost won that challenge. Here's the deal. In fact, we actually did win. This is just a little uh, challenge side note. Production's probably very mad at me for spilling this. We uh, Oh, everyone, hey, if you haven't done so already, follow First Look. They're chiming in, all right? My number one fan. We actually would have won. Okay, this, wait, hold on. Rock says, I played flag football pregnant. Cool, but flag football is a little different than dangling off of a semi-truck, okay? We basically did the Fast and the Furious situation pregnant. Um... Uh, we should have won that challenge. We actually did win that challenge. Production actually gave it to us uh, out of the gate. But we got disqualified when they found out that we were competing with a third person. So, poor shit. Oh, did I just say uh, First Look was in the house? Yes, they are. Everyone here better follow at First Look right now if you want to see what Bananas is up to these days. All right? Mmm. Got something else I want to post for you guys, all right? You ready? YouTube.com slash Johnny Bananas. All right, so here's what I want everyone to do. Uh, just posted a new video, all right? It's uh, Johnny Bananas Quarantine. Confidentials. It's what happens when quarantine meets glamping. Okay? Uh, Morgan knows a thing or two about glamping. I didn't. This is the first time ever for me. Uh, we took a little uh, We took a little sabbatical about a week and a half ago. Out into the middle of the desert. The high desert. So don't worry. We are socially distanced. But uh, the video is up now. It's live. It's on my YouTube. Click that link. Check it out. 
Thoughts on tonight's episode? Um, who was the third person? Kimbra Foot wants to know. Come on. Have you no sense of humor? Melissa was pregnant. All right, Melissa and I competed together. It's the third person. All right, whatever. Um, all right, tonight's episode. Uh, starting off with the elimination. I gotta say, um, listen, man. Props to the Rook. I mean, he he took that one on the chin. Com continued on with the concussion. Uh, it was uh, it, it was impressive. So, uh, but you know, nonetheless, people gotta realize, man. Everyone's like, oh, he was smaller, but. Did that matter when I was... Did anyone say uh, that I was the smaller guy when I was strapped to CT's back? No. Uh, that just happens, man. It's part of the game. You never know. That's why you don't want to go into elimination sometimes because you don't know what it's going to be. And this isn't like professional sports or boxing where there's weight classes and you are stacked up against someone your size. Sometimes being the smaller guy works in your favor. Sometimes it doesn't. This was a circumstance where it did not. So, there you go. Uh, TJ Brack says, don't retire. Not planning on it, bro. All right? Anyone in here that's hoping I retire sometime soon, you might want to pack a lunch because it's going to be a while. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What else we got? So, that elimination, brutal. Uh, the Zach and Jenna drama, boy, I don't even want to. I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. And I don't need to because I think everybody here knows that, I mean, their drama dates back to the beginning of time. So, oh, wait, there was drama in Zach and Jenna's relationship. Oh, well, in other news, the sun rose from the east this morning. Um, the prank of the century, people, come on. The highlight of the episode. The highlight of this, in my opinion, of this season so far, probably till the end. Uh, I've pulled a lot of pranks in my day. The notes... Amazing. Uh, I once floated Ashley's toilet seat out in the middle of the lake. Amazing. There have been some pranks that haven't been shown, which I wish they would have. I mean, I think my all-time greatest prank was stealing 275 grand from Sarah. Uh, but tonight was up there, all right? Um, so a little bit about how this all went down. So big mistake uh, letting Wes and I put our diabolical minds together, all right? Um He's sick and twisted. I'm obviously sick and twisted. Put us two together and it's uh, everyone else is, I mean, it's it's just going to be bad news for everyone else. So Wes and I were just kind of sitting around. We were bored. We were trying to think of a good way to, you know, stir the pot a little bit. Let's get, you know, let's piss some people off. Um, so what we did is Wes comes into my room and he goes, listen, I got these pictures of Bear and Kayla. What do we do with them? Took us a second to figure it out, all right? We, 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 we bounced some ideas off the wall until uh, the idea that eventually uh, ended up being the one was, here's what we do. The bunkers have, the bunkers have, the bunkers have 20 foot, oh, 15 foot tall ceilings, all right? So we decided to, Kayla and her boyfriend Mikey onto the ceiling and completely fucking destroy their lives. All right. Bear had no, by the way, Bear had no idea this was going down. All right. Bear had no clue that we were going to do this. He just, all he knew was that we were going to redecorate his bedroom. So, uh, we let the happy couple kind of chill out for a second and we redecorated. There was a lot of things you guys did not see with the redecoration, okay? We had uh, lamps on the wall that looked like boobs, which was appropriate for uh, Bear. We wrote a math equation on the wall. Now, let me see if anybody can figure out uh, this math equation. You ready? It's B plus K minus M equals heart. Anybody, can anybody figure that out? Because if you can, it is exactly what went down uh, during tonight's prank, all right? Now, we had to, I had to put Wes on my shoulders, <laughs> equals marriage now. Uh, I had to put Wes on, or I had to get on, wait, I had to put Wes on my shoulders to get high enough to do this. And uh, I mean, it was all, it, it could not have worked out more perfectly, all right? Um, so, 
Prank of the night, hands down. Prank of the entire season, hands down. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. So, uh, yeah. Um, the truck challenge, I mean, like I said before, come on. We had that thing in the bag. Melissa and I absolutely won that. Without, there was no contest. However, we got DQ'd for, uh, you know, for having a third person helping us. Total horse shit. But what are you going to do? Um, in addition, I've got some other good news. All right. Coming up this Sunday. All right. Sunday, 9, 8 Central on Food Network is uh, an amazing television show. It is called Worst Chefs in America, Worst Cooks in America. And I know what everyone's going to say. They're going to say, well, you're not one of the worst cooks, so why are you on that show? Well, in addition to the challenge, which I obviously consider a very difficult show to be on, Worst Cooks is probably the most difficult test I've ever had uh, on a show ever. And, and it's, listen, some other favorites are going to be there. Wells Adams from The Bachelor. Um, Sonia Morgan from uh, Housewives, who I absolutely adore. Uh, Robin Givens, um, and obviously Uncle Joey, Dave Coulier, the best, I mean, it's, it's an all-star cast that we assembled, so absolutely insane. Um, and that, be, that all goes down this Sunday, okay? Remember, Sunday, 9A Central, Food Network, it's going to be good. Um, you're going to love it. What else do I got? I mean, uh, listen, as far as shows go, I mean, I got a lot. We got a lot cooking right now, okay? No pun intended. Um, also, we're doing the Twitch live streams. We live stream tonight's episode on Twitch. So if you're not already following me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash realjohnnybananas. So uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for stopping by. I love you all. It's been real. Uh, check out uh, my our new video posted on YouTube. All right, it is Adventures in Quarantine, and you're gonna see how uh, how we do it. All right, Joshua Tree National Park, absolutely crushed it. It's been real. Can't wait to see you guys next week. May you live, may you love, and may you all go bananas. <laughs>